For decades, the origins of the Korean people have been a puzzle. Were they descended from ancient Siberian hunters, early Chinese farmers, or indigenous tribes who lived on the peninsula since the Stone Age? Legends like the Dangun myth added mystery, while political narratives shaped competing theories. But now the mystery is lifting. New ancient DNA studies published between 2019 and 2024, including genomes from Bronze Age Korea, Manchuria, and early agricultural sites, are rewriting the story. This video uncovers what science now reveals, the real evidence-based origins of the Korean people and how their unique genetic identity formed. The Korean Peninsula sits at one of the great crossroads of ancient Asia, a narrow bridge linking the icy lands of Siberia and Manchuria to the fertile plains of the Yellow River and just a short stretch of water away from the islands of Japan. This geography shaped everything about its earliest peoples. To the north lay vast forests and river systems connecting Korea to ancient Northeast Asian hunter-gatherers. To the west, the heartlands of early millet farming cultures expanded outward from the Yellow River Basin. And to the south and east, the coastal waters provided maritime access to the Japanese archipelago. Archaeology reveals a sequence of cultures reflecting this strategic position. The Jolman hunter-gatherers, some of the earliest known inhabitants, lived along rivers and coasts, leaving behind pottery older than that of much of Europe. With the arrival of the Mumin agriculturalists, Farming communities spread across the land, bringing rice, new tools, and the beginnings of permanent settlements. By the Bronze and Iron Ages, Goyo Seon and other early polities emerged, laying the foundations of Korean civilization. Because the peninsula sat at the intersection of so many migration routes, early scholars offered competing models. Some argued for a Yellow River origin, claiming ancient Koreans were offshoots of early Chinese farmers. Others saw Siberian roots linking Korean ancestry to Altaic-speaking nomads of the North. Still others insisted on an indigenous-only model, proposing deep continuity with the peninsula's earliest hunter-gatherers. But the Korean peninsula was both a mixing zone and a haven of long-term stability. Its mountains isolated communities even as rivers connected them to distant cultures. This dynamic, openness and isolation, created one of the most genetically distinct populations in East Asia. The question remained, which origin theory was right? The answer began to emerge only recently. Between 2019 and 2024, scientists sequenced ancient genomes from across the Korean peninsula and its surrounding regions, producing the first direct window into the population history of Korea. One breakthrough came from Julman hunter-gatherer remains, offering a genetic snapshot of the peninsula's earliest inhabitants, long before the rise of agriculture. Another came from Bronze Age Gojoseon era burials, allowing researchers to compare ancient Koreans directly to modern populations. Additional samples from early agricultural sites in the Liaodong Peninsula and Manchuria revealed the genetic profiles of migrants who once moved between Northeast China and Korea. Researchers then compared these genomes to ancient DNA from Japan's Yoman people, Siberian groups along the Amur River, and early millet farmers of the Yellow River. From this, a clear pattern emerged. Ancient Koreans were not a simple extension of any single group. Instead, their ancestry came from three major layers. First, Northeast Asian hunter-gatherers, stretching from the Siberian forests down into the peninsula. These people provided a deep genetic foundation present in Koreans today. Second, early Yellow River farmers who expanded northward and eastward thousands of years ago. Their millet-based agriculture helped spark demographic and cultural changes across East Asia, and they contributed an important genetic component to ancient Koreans. Third, Bronze Age populations from Manchuria who brought metallurgy, advanced agriculture, and aspects of early state formation. Their arrival between 1500 and 500 BCE was pivotal in shaping what we recognize as early Korean culture. Earlier models of Korean origins were too narrow because they lacked ancient DNA. With these new data sets, scientists now see that Korea's genetic story is more complex and far older than previously imagined. When researchers mapped the genetic ancestry of ancient and modern Koreans, three core components emerged with remarkable clarity. One. Ancient Northeast Asian Ancestry, the Amur-Siberian Layer. 
This deep layer comes from ancient hunter-gatherers who lived from the Amur River to the Korean Peninsula. Their genetic signature still appears strongly in modern Koreans and also shows parallels to the ancient Yeoman and Ainu peoples of Japan. This ancestry forms the oldest stratum of Korean genetics. 2. Yellow River Agricultural Ancestry Thousands of years ago, early millet farmers from the Yellow River Basin expanded north and northeast. A branch of these communities contributed genes to the ancestors of Koreans. This does not link Koreans to modern southern Han Chinese populations. Instead, it reflects a shared heritage with early northern Chinese agriculturalists of the Neolithic. 3. Bronze Age Manchurian Ancestry Perhaps the most influential layer, this population expanded during the Bronze Age and contributed heavily to the formation of early Korean states such as Gojoseon. These people brought metallurgy, new social structures, and the cultural traits that characterize early Korean civilization. The most surprising discovery from ancient DNA is the striking continuity. Modern Koreans are genetically very similar to Bronze Age Koreans. This means that for over 3,000 years, despite wars, migrations, and foreign contact, the peninsula's population remained stable. The Korean people are not a recent mixture, but a long-established population with deep continuity stretching back to the earliest civilizations of Northeast Asia. For years, scholars grouped Korean with the so-called Altaic languages, Turkic, Mongolic, and Tungusic, or linked it to Japonic. Genetics now helps explain why these connections were proposed and why they remain debated. Koreans share part of their ancestry with ancient Manchurian and Amur populations, the same broad region where Tungusic and some proposed Altaic languages arose. This northern ancestry supports a deep linguistic connection, but Koreans also carry agricultural ancestry that diverged early from the ancestors of Japanese and Tungusic peoples, forming a distinct cultural and linguistic branch. DNA shows that Koreans and early Japanese shared distant roots in Northeast Asia, but separated into different migrations thousands of years ago. This explains their shared traditions, rice agriculture, bronze daggers, yet also why their languages evolved separately. Korean, therefore, reflects a unique blend of Northern heritage and local development, shaped by migrations, but solidified by centuries of cultural continuity. Ancient DNA now reveals that the distinctive Korean genetic identity crystallized during the Late Bronze Age to Early Iron Age, roughly 1000 to 300 BCE. This was the period when the peninsula transformed from a patchwork of local cultures into a coherent ancestral population. As Manchurian migrants moved south, they blended with established Moomin farmers and with the deeper Julman hunter-gatherer ancestry still present across the land. Rather than replacing earlier groups, these populations merged into a stable, unified community that spread through Central and Southern Korea. By the emergence of Gojoseon in the Proto Three Kingdoms, the genetic profile we see in Koreans today was already largely formed. After this point, only minimal outside admixture entered the peninsula. Several factors preserved this stability. Korea's mountainous terrain created natural barriers to large scale migration. The Korean language formed a strong cultural boundary. Social continuity across dynasties limited foreign gene flow. Historical Korea generally rejected or controlled mass resettlement. Despite lying between major civilizations, the peninsula became a genetic island, shaped early by migration, but preserved by geography and culture. Modern genome-wide studies show that Koreans form one of the tightest, most homogeneous genetic clusters in East Asia. This is not due to isolation alone, but because the core Korean population stabilized early during the Bronze and Iron Ages and changed very little afterward. Foreign admixture after that period was surprisingly small. The Mongol Yuan era left only minor traces. Chinese Han commanderies introduced small, localized influences that did not reshape the population. Even the Japanese colonial period had negligible genetic impact on modern Koreans. Genetically, modern Koreans are closest to 1. Bronze Age and Early Iron Age Koreans, showing deep continuity. 2. Ancient Manchurian populations, reflecting shared northern ancestry. 3. Northern Han Chinese and Japanese, due to ancient, not modern, connections. 
They are clearly distinct from Southern Chinese, Southeast Asians, and other Asian populations. The data makes one thing clear. Koreans are not a recently mixed group, nor a branch of any single neighboring culture. They are a long-standing, stable population whose roots lie deep in the prehistory of Northeast Asia. Ancient DNA has finally clarified the origins of the Korean people. Koreans descend from three ancient populations, Siberian Amur, hunter-gatherers, the peninsula's oldest layer Yellow River millet farmers, who spread agriculture across Northern East Asia, Bronze Age Manchurian migrants, who helped shape early Korean civilization. These groups fused over 3,000 years ago, forming a stable genetic community whose descendants still live on the peninsula today. Koreans did not arise from a single migration, nor are they derived from Chinese or Siberian groups alone. Instead, they represent a unique ancestral blend formed in the peninsula in southern Manchuria during the Bronze Age, preserved by geography and cultural continuity. Ancient DNA reveals that the Koreans are not just a people of history, but a living lineage stretching unbroken back to the earliest civilizations of Northeast Asia.